good to see you. Oh, hello, everyone. Uh, so for for this here, pay no, pay no attention to my uh, stats and everything, and especially that hammer that's in the um, in the inventory there. Don't look at that, <laughs> uh, as that will be our topic of discussion for the Road to 100 series uh, coming up in the next video. However, here I just needed to relax a little bit, uh, see if anybody's online. There's 3,000 people in game right now, so I figured it would be a good time to uh, get in and see if uh, we can help out some fellow revenants here. We're going to be running that uh, Perseus Code uh, outfit that we were running, and hopefully the Angel of Death here can give us a good showing on how to completely dominate uh, the enemy in uh, defense of our fellow revenants. So we'll see here if uh, anything's out there. It seems like there might be, as it's taking quite a while to connect. Uh, it could just be my internet is bad. Who knows? We'll see if we get somebody here. So the reason um, also that this this actually works... Oops. I, I'm not trying to... <laughs> I screwed that up. The reason this actually works pretty well um, to pair with other revenants is because as a partner uh, that you're running for someone else, you need to be running, in my opinion, this is all... Remember, everything I do in these videos is all my opinion based on what I've experienced through running through the game. Uh, but you always want to be running interference for your partner. You always want to be um, in the action taking the hits or doing the damage one or the other because it's a lot easier for their partner or them to revive you than it is for you to revive them simply because you have uh, less heals than they do. Oh good. And we're here in the... Whoop. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Um, so anytime that you have a chance to um, be running for running in front of your host, whoever your host is, you always want to try and do as much damage and get in there as much as you can. You don't really want to worry about a build that takes a lot of prep. Uh, you want to worry about a build, typically, that uh, gets you in there, into the action, provides them some advantage over the over the fight, because chances are they're, they're prepped and ready for whatever kind of build they're going against. Uh, but you as the as the support character um, should uh, be ready to help kind of with heals or uh, damage or extra extra buffs that uh, apply to both you and your partner for example blood sucking blades uh, regenerator foul blood barrier um, gift prowess um, gift extension these kinds of things where you can provide those over to your uh, host to make whatever build they're going for uh, kind of extra powerful so that they have an edge because chances are they know what they're doing. Not always, but... Hello. Good to see you. Okay, so he's already in there. This will be interesting. Ooh, we got hit? I guess so. See how much easier they are on regular game? Eo's been defeated. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. They should have been... Oh, well. See? Uh, we got a lot of damage in there for them. So, hopefully that person uh, went forward and finished out that match. Um, that should have been a fairly easy win there, because he was already down to, like, 5% health or something. So, they could have blocked a little bit, hit a little bit. So, that was kind of my, my job there as the uh, co-op partner to do as much damage as possible uh, before we get out but uh, because because we're trying to be quick we have the um, 
Ivory Grace uh, Devour on, so that way we can get back a ton of Icor. Well, not a ton, but a significant amount of Icor. We get 18 back on a Backstab, and we get 9 back on a uh, Charge Drain. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll see who uh, who else we pick up here. Now this uh, this code is uh, pretty. The Perseus code is pretty exceptional for running both dark light combination together, uh, since it has an S plus in both dark or in both mind and willpower, and since the Ivory Grace is balanced across light and dark, it provides a a really good cross pairing between the two. Oh no. Um, we are not prepped for this boss. Hello. So, hmm, this is the one boss that we do not want to do. Show me what you can do. Uh, sorry person. Okay, we're going to have to quickly, uh, set up here. Hmm, let's go for this. Oh, okay. Sorry person. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Uh, that's the other thing about being a host is that uh, if you get into the action too quick, uh, your your partner probably won't be ready. Um, so uh, let's see, they'll probably be dead by the time I get set up here. Um, so let's see, this and this, and we'll go for um, this and uh, definitely go for a blade of blood, iron will. Um, and let's see, or or they'll get onto uh, phase two, <laughs> phase two already. <laughs> uh, this is the other hard part about um, about uh, joining people is that you have no idea what you're getting into, so you can kind of build for an overall kind of a strategy, but uh, a lot of times it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's go for sure and um, uh, uh, regenerative drain. We'll go for the partner buff. They're probably already done. Um, go for this. And let's go for uh, this. Okay, so seven, four. Oh, they're already done. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well. We did diddly jack on that one, so... Okay. So typically, uh, when you get into uh, different uh, sessions, um, it's good to have a couple pre-made um, builds set up, but th there's really no um, one code that you can say, I'm just going to build like this and it's going to be effective against anything and everything in the game uh, because there's so many variables uh, to what you can have um, in the game because of uh, because of different bosses have different resistances and different enemies have different resistances and there's nothing that uh, is a is a one shot for everything in the game so this is helping me relax i just got done with a massive homework. I've got another one to do tonight uh, by tomorrow, so this is kind of an in-between break to let my brain kind of breathe a bit um, before I got to get back at it. So hopefully we get a uh, adventuring session here. It's always fun to adventure in the in the cathedral, I think, um, as that is one of the longest, most in-depth places where you can Canceling the distress signal. Oh man, I don't understand why, why that happens. People uh, put up distress signals to uh, get folks to play with them, and then they cancel it right away. But it also happens where uh, you can die immediately, and then your distress signal gets canceled. And that can also cancel it. I've had that happen to me several times. I'll be adventuring or something and then somebody joins and then I die and then it cancels their distress signal. So there's all kinds of reasons and factors as to why you might not uh, get into someone's session like that. Which it's always sad, but... Uh, so the we could run the uh, Ishtar uh, partnering build that we ran yesterday for the um, City of the Falling Flame. However, 
Uh, again, we don't know what we'll be getting into, so. But that would be kind of good, uh, as we can. As we would be of good help to whoever, whomever we're, whoever session we're going to be joining here, if any. <laughs> like I said, there's like three thousand people online or something like that, so, which is a a pretty significant portion. I I guess uh, more people are playing now, than they have been in the past couple weeks, so, which is nice to nice to see. I think partner adventuring like this, where you join other people's um, sessions, is is a really good part of the game. However, uh, I wish there was some kind of indicator, uh, like I said last time, like a star prestige, because the um, the marks of honor don't really show you how much the person's been in the game, because you can go through the Tower of Trials and get like 20 marks of honor, so, so you just gotta run through there like 20 times or something and you can get the, the, that achievement. It doesn't really display anything that's relevant. So I uh, I platinum the game back in December, um, as I was uh, or hundred percented or got all the trophies achievements. However, however you say it, whether you're on console or not, um, and uh, that felt really good because it was uh, it was a hundred percent before the Tower of Trials came out, and so you had to do everything one by one. Uh, Marks of Honor, so it literally was four hundred boss fights. Uh, to get there instead of um, going through the Towers of Trials where you get two and three and four and sometimes eight uh, marks of honor uh, before you before you get to that uh, 400 marks of honor so that was a that was a good time I, I really enjoyed uh, getting it before they added the Tower of Trials for those that might be wondering well doesn't seem like anybody's here so maybe we can uh, go, uh, maybe we can run the cathedral and uh, we can see if somebody wants to join us. I'm sure there will be somebody that wants to join us and maybe do the challenge run of from the beginning to the end here. Let's see if we can, if we could do that. Because that, that's a, uh, a fairly good run and it's a fairly good test of uh, how, how good a code is if it can make it from the beginning to the end with with a partner um, and not run out of heals by the end. I don't know, it's just like my my trial of of what I've made up for myself to see how good I am. So we'll see here. Now we've already been through here, so this is a mod uh, from Nexus Mod that allows me to send a, send a distress, distress signal at any point in the game. So, let's do this and this. Let's see how that does. So, 7,000 damage. We better backstab. This will give us uh, 18. Yep, there we go. Get a uh, drain on them. Nope. Okay. Now, we're not really interested in picking anything up here. Uh, so, we definitely want to go for a gift accelerator. Uh, the dodging one. Whoops. Uh this one and uh we'll go for that one. Hi Alpha. Hello. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Shall we go? We're gonna go this way. I hope you're ready. Okay, so level five, so sorry person, you're not gonna get any marks of honor off of this run, but you're definitely gonna get some uh respect if you can make it through here with me. And if the internet holds out, I mean who knows? That's always a, um... Good time. All right, let's get ourselves buffed here as much as we can. Okay, um, once uh, Gift Prowess comes back. Get a uh, frost wave down there. Good. Okay. Monkeys, huh? Oh, we're dead. Eva? 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 Nope. We're all dead. Oof. 
that was rough. I was going for the monkey. I got scared of the monkey and he drew me in. <laughs> uh. Hey, don't make me worry like that, okay? Okay. Well, let's go back, grab our haze, and then we will see if uh, anybody else is online. So that was a failed attempt. If I uh, hadn't gone for the monkey there, and I don't know what was going on with the... Uh, I don't know what was going on with the uh, explosion, explosion there from the meteors. It was like, I don't know, exploding right in front of my eyes or something. Okay. Well, let's head on over, pick up our haze, and we'll see if anybody else is online. If they're, if they are, then we'll uh, continue, continue adventuring with them. If not, maybe we'll uh, continue our run through here. As these invasions are a great indicator of of uh, how wow that was interesting of how good uh, your build is how good the code is how good your um, abilities have have gotten and your reactions and everything uh, because these invasions are some of the most difficult in the game here no distress signals okay now another thing to do that's not very nice uh, if you oh good we got someone is if you are uh, waiting for someone, don't start a trial or a uh, invasion. <laughs> don't start an invasion and then uh, send up a distress signal like halfway through because as the person comes in, they have no idea what's going on. I mean, it's y you play it how you want, but <laughs> it's it's really frustrating that you're waiting to get in. You get into a game and then you get one shotted by, you know, one of those fat ladies or something. Oh, canceling the distress signal. So, okay. So I've done that several times, and uh, <laughs> the people that come in, like, you know, they're expecting, oh, we got some time here to think about what we're doing, buff up a little bit, you know, collect ourselves, and then, nope, you just get demolished in one shot. All right, let's see if there's. Are you a... sure you have everything? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Let's see what what we got going here. Nothing. All right. Well, let's uh, bring somebody in. Let's see if uh, there's anybody out there. So the angel of death here is not giving a real good showing. But uh, if we get enough icor and we get some one-on-ones here with the uh, with the different uh, enemies, then we should be good uh, to keep up um, our icor stocks. Now, the greatest thing for this kind of a build, where you have long-range things, is to stay out in that hallway out there and let them come to you from this little choke point here where they spawn in. Uh, if you're down this hallway, they will spawn typically right here in this little crook of the of the uh, pathway here. Okay, nobody's coming. So let's go ahead and start up. And if they join, I'm sorry. But time is money here. And uh, you can bottle them up into that little area there. And uh, it's really good for um, monkeys. Oh. These monkeys suck. Okay. Yeah, come here, monkey. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh. The, that ice wave went right into the wall. <laughs> or the frost wave. So that was kind of a, a very bad display there. So as you can tell, uh, when we went through the parking deck on our last um, play, uh, when we were advent Random Adventures uh, number 5, I believe it was, um, we just completely demolished everybody in in the parking deck um, and as you can see that that's clearly not the case in uh, New Game Enhanced even farther than one star um, because it's just uh, every every gift and every setup and every build um, is really different for um, for the different games whether it's regular uh, difficulty or New Game Enhanced 
difficulty. I'm on my way. That's why uh, when you see some of these, um, some of the guides and different things that might be out there, um, it's it's not that they're wrong. It's just that uh, the delineation between the two um, types of uh, game styles is extremely different. Wow. We got what we came for. I, I'm really surprised that with this many people in the game. I guess nobody wants help. Nobody wants to join. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. No distress signals. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just cut it here. Uh, so that was a little bit of fun, a little bit of discussion. Uh, we'll continue on with the road to. Uh, we'll continue on with the road to 100 series uh, this evening, uh, through the Crown of Sand, and I uh, got something interesting for that. Uh, so tune in tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever that goes live. So thanks for coming along on this random adventure nine.